fetish men. Black witchcraft as real as an African nightmare. <coughs> Academy Award winning Joan Fontaine, star of some of the screen's most memorable motion pictures, slants a new angle on the story of the witches, the devil's own disciples. Let me pass, I've got to phone the police. It's where Stel said he's dead. The witches, the devil's own. They live in the dark, superstitious jungles of Africa. Who are the witches? I saw it. You saw what? She stuck Linda's hand in the rollers and turned the handle. What? She put Linda's hand in the mangle. Starring Joan Fontaine as the head teacher, target of the witches cunning in two continents. Tell me where are you? This is the journalist with an inside knowledge of witchcraft. Witchcraft? Hmm. Somebody having a little dabble? Yes, I would think so. It's a sex thing deep down, of course. Mostly women go in for it. The rector without a church in a village without hope. Did Stephanie tell you about me? About my not being a priest? The witches, the devil's own. Who are they? The witches know, but witches don't talk. They could be dressed in the skin of a butcher, disguised in the innocent garb of old Mrs. Rick. Go after her. Who are the witches? They hypnotize the innocent, bedevil the unsuspecting. That's a superstition. Now, there you are wrong. The power of darkness is more than just a superstition. It is a living force which can be tapped at any given moment of the night. Why? On one night of one year, <coughs> should these people live in mortal fear? who knows he must fight the devil's power to the death. Oh, my God. Don't look at the eyes, Rex! Eyes, eyes, once filled with love, are consumed with fear. For Tanith is now promised to the devil. Listen carefully to what I say. This is Makata, the devil's chief disciple. Your will is leaving you, slipping away. The Devil's Bride, from bestseller author Dennis Wheatley's The Devil Rides Out, fills the screen with a special kind of visual terror. On your feet quickly! Back to back! Join hands! You will hear his evil. You will feel his evil. You will see his evil. If we once catch sight of his face. The evil power of black magic has fascinated millions of moviegoers. In 1967, Rosemary's Baby, in 1974, The Exorcist, and now, 
a motion picture that probes further into the mysteries of the occult that any has dared before. 98% of so-called Satanists are nothing but pathetic freaks who get their kicks out of dancing naked in freezing churchyards. I have a feeling of dealing with that other 2%. Richard Whitmark challenges Christopher Lee for the soul of a girl named Catherine in the terrifying film of Dennis Wheatley's sensational bestseller, To the Devil, a Daughter. Te adoro et te invoco. They've got Catherine. And we've got to get her back before it's too late. ceremony has been performed. I shall destroy you, John Burney. The demons hate you, Rayner. They're waiting for you. Catherine. Catherine. You are warned. The full shock, the full satanic horror is yet to be revealed. It's me! Don't! Some quartet. We sell refreshments at the Met. At the Met? So if you should want to get delicious ice cream, soft drink, popcorn, candy. Candy, I like candy. It tastes just dandy and comes in handy when I fight the pool. A popcorn's puffy, so crisp and fluffy. We all eat popcorn until we're full. Oh, how I love the soft drinks here. They taste as good as the lager beer. And now our opera ever ends. We'll have an intermission, friend. where men satisfy their bloodlust by hunting human quarry. Come to a place of fear where even an innocent corpse can find no peace. Young Martinus also says that he saw something on the moors, something that he insists was his brother. But we know that his brother is dead. We also know that he is not lying in his coffin. Someone in this village is practicing witchcraft. See the undead slaves driven from their graves and forced to labor for the masters of evil. See Plague of the Zombies, 